In the last video we made sure that we are able to fly around and in this video we will make sure that we can't just fly like that. We will have to click the ladder before we actually start flying around and then later we will limit it to the ladder's um, size for us to fly around so we can't fly out of the edges of the ladder of course. So to do this we will have to create an interface and this interface is going to be called iUsable. So we will have to right click and click create and create a new folder and I'm going to call this folder usable. So all scripts that has something to do with using uh, in the game will be placed in this folder. For example, the ladder will be placed in the folder, um, a door will be placed in that folder and so on because it's all stuff we can use. So first of all, we'll have to right click and click create and we can create a new script called ladder. So this is our ladder script. Um, besides that, we will also have to create a new interface. And to create an interface, we just right click, click create, um, C sharp script, and we call this one I usable. So every time we create a inter an interface in, um, in C sharp, we will have to call it I to indicate it's an interface. So you always know that it's an interface we're working with when we uh, access this name. So I and then the name, open it up. And as you can see, it just created the mono behavior script, but we can fix that very fast. Remove the mono behavior from I usable. Remove start and, um, and update. And instead of a public class, we simply write public interface. So I think we used an interface when we made the strategy pattern from for our, um, our enemy states here, yeah. Uh, there's an I enemy state. So we already covered what an interface is, but in short, it's just a contract between classes. All classes that implement the interface need to implement that specific, um, those specific functions the interface has, so that whenever we want to access something on the interface, we can, uh, on a class, we can simply go through the interface. Um, so if more classes implement the same interface, well, then we can handle them the same way because they have the same interface. Um, and you'll see that in a moment how it works. So we can make a void um, use. So this function here will be implemented by every single class we can use. So if we have a ladder, we implement the use function, which means we can call the use function on the ladder from the player. If we have a door, we also have a use function. So we are sure that we can just call the use function on the door if that's the, that's of that matter. So use let's go to our ladder script let's see if i lost my place over here uh, usable and ladder okay so our ladder script needs to implement the interface so after mono behavior we make a comma and call i usable it is going to complain and tell you that well the ladder does not implement the interface members i usable that use and the reason that does that because when you implement an interface, you need to implement all the functions in the interface. So we can click on the little light bulb here and click implement interface. If you don't have Visual Studio and you can't use right click and say quick actions or something, then simply write this code here by yourself, public void use. It's exactly the same, but what I just did was a shortcut to do that. I'm just going to place my function down here. So now we have a use function and this use function here will need to be executed when we are at the ladder. Um, so to do this, we will have to go to the player and we'll have to make a use function. Uh, so basically we will need to call the use function when we press the E button. So let's try to go down here in our must have some on trigger enter on trigger exit somewhere here. Here we have some collision collision code, and down here we'll have to make sure if we enter the ladder's collider, and it's uh, something that is usable. Well, then we basically make a reference to that usable item, and then we can click that item. So first of all, we will have to make a public override on trigger enter two D. So the reason that we override this is because inside our character script, we also have a um, on-trigger enter. So as far as I remember, let's see, it should be somewhere. 
somewhere, somewhere there. So inside our character, we have an untrigger inter function, which is virtual, so that we can override it. And because our player inherits from character here, well, then it already has an untrigger inter function, so we can't just define it again. But it's bad to just define it. So to indicate that we already have the function, but we are overriding the functionality, then write public override void on trigger into 2D. And then we call the base, which is the characters on trigger into 2D after. So all the functionality we have here will also be executed, even though we have a new on trigger into 2D on our player. Okay, so we will have to do something on our, pl on our player uh, when we um, when we have a collision. So first of all, we'll have to check if other tag equals usable. So every single item that we can use in the game will be tagged with usable, so that we know what to do with that usable item. So in here, we need to write some code to make a reference to that usable item. So in the top here, we can make a see where do you want to do this we can simply just doesn't really matter where we do it, do it does it private i usable usable okay so we just created an interface and our ladder implements that interface so our ladder will be i usable so this means we can make a reference to every single item that we can use in the game by using the i usable interface here so every time we enter a usable item we get the i usable interface and we can call the use function on that specific class. So the ladder has its own use function. So using that will make us climb it. A door will have its own use function. So using that will open it instead. So this one will always make a reference to the usable item we just hit. So down here we say other, um, let's say usable equals other dot get component i usable. So now we get the i usable component from um, from the ladder and this is the ladder script because the ladder script is i usable so this will actually give us a reference to the i usable part of the ladder script okay when we are done being in uh, the ladder we'll have to exit it but okay let's let's do that later i just want to show you step by step actually it makes more sense so now we can make a reference to the ladder now we'll need to use the ladder as well so let's uh, jump to the top here. Oh, it's not to the top. Let's just find anywhere actually. Uh, let's just do it here after the button. When we're done with the buttons here. So let's make a, let's say private void use. So now the player has a use, use function. And inside that use function, we will have to call use on the usable item we are standing on, we are close to. So we can make, say if, usable isn't null so if we have a usable item near us then we are going to call usable dot use so in this case we will call use on the ladder because our ladder is the usable later maybe the usable is a handle or something else so now we have use so we need to go to our I think we have a function called handle input and inside handle input I think we'll have to um, make an if statement and then check well did we press our use button if we did then we called use so we make an if statement that says if input that get key down key code dot e so it's a long time since i've played any games uh, with usable buttons but last time i played e was often the usable um as standard so i'm just going to use e and then I'm going to say usable. All right, let's just call use here. There we go. So it calls our use function we just created down here. This means that if I go down here and say debug.log inside my ladder script, used ladder, and save the script, then I need to go back into my game. I need to go world and find my medium platform find the ladder. I need to add a tag to the ladder. So I need to say add tag, click the plus, write usable, usable, and select the ladder again, 
select the tag and make it usable. Add component, write ladder to give it the ladder script and make sure that you have saved your script before you do this. So now when I, of course, also need to put a collision box on it. So select your ladder, add component, um, write box and take a box collider 2D. And then there should be a box glide on it and make sure that it's a trigger because we are using on trigger enter. So when you've done that, we should also make sure that our players, um, what is it called? On ladder is set to false. So in here in public or right void start on the player, set on ladder to false here so that you're sure that it's not flying around in it from the get-go. So let's try to play it again. It falls down. If I press E out here, it also says that I used, and that's because I just ran into the ladder. Let's just try one more time, let's see it from the get-go. So if I press E now, I can't see ladder used, but if I go close to the ladder and press the E button, then I used my ladder here, right? So now, now I can actually use my my ladder by pressing the E button here. So we don't have much functionality right now. We can just click use ladder. So we need to jump back into our script and then we'll have to go all the way down here to our, actually inside our ladder script, sorry. Inside our ladder script, we will have to replace that use ladder with something else. Um, so we'll have to make sure that the players on ladder is true. Right now, I will be accessing the player through the singleton, which means that this ladder only works for the player. Um, if we would have a ladder with en where enemies or other things could climb the ladder, um, then we will have to make it more general and take in some kind of object here when we're using the ladder. Um, and uh, so instead of um, just doing this for the player, we'll have to do it for a specific object, but we're not going to do that right now unless lots of people have requests about other objects being able to climb the ladder. Um, but right now we're making the ladder script so that it's only the player that can use it. So we can say player that instance that on ladder equals uh, true. So now when we're using this, the player will be on the ladder. So this means that we can Go in here, play the game, and click the E button, and now we are able to fly, as you can see here, all the time. So now we can enable some functionality from our ladder, because nothing happens out here. When we press E, we walk into the ladder, click the Use button, and suddenly we are able to fly up and down here. One thing we'll have to fix though is the fact that our player is able to use the ladder even though he runs away from it. So if I walk into the ladder here and go out here, I can press the use button and then I can start climbing over here. And that's not intended at all. Uh, we will need to only be able to click the use button when we're standing at the ladder um, so that we can't go to the ladder, move away and use it. So we can only do like this. So to use this or fix it, we will have to go to the player script and here we have in going to make a public void on trigger. We can actually make it private if we want to private void on trigger exit 2D collider 2D other. So if we exit the ladder, so let's say if other dot tag equals usable. Well, then we say usable equals null. So now we don't have a reference to anything anymore, which means when we try to use the button, use the use button, uh, then nothing is going to happen. So let's see here. Play the game. We go to the ladder and we go out here, press the E button. We are not able to fly, go in here press the e button and now we are able to fly around here. So that's some of the functionality right here. Um, later we will have to make sure that we can't fly off the ladder of course. Um, I am going to end this video here. We are getting close to 15 minutes. Um, so 
uh, in the next video we will start adding functionality so that the player can climb off the ladder uh, we will actually have to do some extra work on the ladder script use here um, so that we can give him some parameters and tell him if he goes on the ladder or if he jumps off the ladder because we need to use the same functionality um, but the values are just going to be reversed for example if we jump off the ladder it will need to be false for example so we're just going to add some parameters here or expand the use function at least so thanks for watching this video um, and yeah remember to follow me on twitter like my facebook page and subscribe to this channel also uh, if you haven't done it, then please share my uh, videos on social media or anywhere you can uh, it will help me out a lot to get some more views and such um, also Oh, don't uh, don't forget that Inscope Studios is a community found page, so all your support is very very helpful and it's very important to me. You can support me by clicking the um, Patreon link in the top of the screen here, where you can see which different perks and everything you can get on Patreon, or you can click the bottom link to get this project or any of my other projects to support me. Thanks for watching.